of the Reading Terminal and Gottschall's Poultry. We're standing here in front of our store, which has been here for over 100 years. My brother Steve and I have owned the store for 25 years, and we're really happy to show you around. Hi, I'm Bryce Frankenfield. I'm the fourth generation here at Gottschall's. Can't wait to show you what we do. It's in the mission statement of the Reading Terminal Market that it's a purveyor's market. I mean, if it's entirely a food court, it's not a market. You know, it's not a farmer's market if it's just a food court. A purveyor, from what I understand, is somebody who brings their goods to a market to sell or purvey to the public. So, yeah, here at Godshaw's, we provide people the opportunity to buy fresh poultry because there's people that want a local product that they can't get at the grocery store. They want to buy something local that they can trust. Charles Godshaw is my great, great uncle. So, Charles passed it on to Ernest. Ernest would have sold it to his nephew-in-law, really, my dad, in 1985. So it started in the Godshaws, and then swung across to the Frankenfield family tree, and we kept the name. This picture here is Ernie and Eva Godshaw. So they continued to work for my dad after he had bought the business. And then this, you can see, the business had grown to all three sides. So this picture here is Ernest Godshaw. Um, it's unclear what the date is of this picture, but you can see those tiles. And those are the tiles that you see on our current egg case. So this is my dad, Steve Frankenfield, with Ernest Godshaw. This would have been in the 80s, probably either right before or soon after my dad would have bought the business from them. Ernie, every morning, he'd go get a piece of chocolate cake, put it right on the cutting board, yeah. and eat it right next to the chicken that he was cutting up. Mm. Obviously, you can't do that these days with different rules and regulations. Yeah, honestly, there was very little pressure at all. I was given every freedom to do what I wanted to do. Um, I started working here when I was 13. I started working Saturdays, and that's almost 20 years ago now. It wasn't forced upon me in any way. I was willing to step in and pursue that, and it was 100% my choice to do so. So my favorite part of the day is when we first open, there's a certain feeling involved of just being ready to go and get on with the day that I enjoy. Deliveries come, you rotate product, you get fresh stuff in the case, you do all your cutting and trimming in the morning to try and prep enough products so you have enough to get through the day. There's seasonal products. We obviously sell way more turkeys at Thanksgiving. Around Christmas, we sell fresh geese and ducks and capons. New Year's, we'll sell some geese. Easter, we'll sell a lot of turkey hams. You know, my dad's here every Saturday. My Uncle Dean has been here for a long time. Between my brothers, my mom, we've been very fortunate to have a, a family network that helps out when need be, and also full-time guys that have been with us for a long time. I mean, we have clients, I shouldn't even call them customers, that, I mean, they're third-generation customers. Like, their grandma used to bring them here on a Saturday to get local stuff. I would venture to guess it has something to do with the product that they're happy with the service they receive, and the overall experience. I mean, if you, there's people we get to know that we get to check in on every week, you know, that we enjoy that part of it too. It's not just a business transaction, it's a personal relationship that you develop with people that you cherish. You know, they ask about my kids, I get to ask about their family and see how everybody's doing, and it's definitely my favorite part. We've seen changes in our business, I mean, over the last four years, when people weren't leaving the house, we had to find a way to deliver. So yeah, we're trying to find different ways to make the experience at shopping at our store convenient. I mean, a lot of what we've done for years has worked, but you know, being able to ship our stuff across the country, I think, would be a valuable asset. I mean, there's been many occasions where you know we could choose to stay home and not open the store today, but it's not hard to figure out the importance of being here at all costs. My dad used to say every day is a good day, some are just better. If you're not having a good time working there, your customer's not going to have a good time shopping there, you know, so you're, it's important to stay positive. God Charles is a small family business that's been here for a long time and I plan to keep it going, holding the same values that we've had for years. My, my oldest son is 
he ain't soon, and before long, he'll be here working too.